Hey guys, Shailene Sean here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please take the time to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. Um, every month I do these videos. They're called What Sold. And pretty much I just tell you what sold the previous month in my Poshmark closet, which is Dulce E Perfecta. Also, if you want to sign up for Poshmark, use my code, Dulce E Perfecta. You'll receive $5 off your first order. And when you place your first order, I'll receive $5. Um, before I get started with this video, I do want to say that I am transitioning from pre-recorded, um, thrift hauls to live thrift hauls. So every Sunday, 6 p.m. EST, I live on the east coast of the United States, I live in Ohio, that I will be doing a thrift haul. I'll be in front of my computer at 6 p.m. I don't know where you'll be, I hope you'll join me. Um, last week's was really fun because people actually showed up and I was really excited. Thank you so much for the people who joined. But yeah, I'll be doing live thrift hauls. That one's getting just as many views as the other ones, so um, you guys must like it. Also along with that, I am doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers, so please subscribe. We're really close. And this video, typically what I do is I tell you like the highest item and the lowest item and my averages and all that. And I'm still going to do that, but you guys wanted to see every single item I sold for the month of May. This has been my busiest month, and it is quite the list. It is this and then this, I had to type it all out because my printer would not print my Excel sheet, right? But I sold a lot of shit this month. You guys wanted to see every single item, so I'll let you guys know every single item. Um, I will tell you a little bit about the way my spreadsheet's set up. For weeks, I don't type in the date. I just do um, the week of that month. So the items I'm listing this week have been put in as the fifth week of May. So, if I say something sold in zero weeks, that's under a week. And if something sold in one week, that's technically over seven days. Hope that makes sense. Along with that, I don't put what the item, like, sold for on my Poshmark closet. If you're scrolling, you're like, oh, 20 bucks, 25, 24. I put what actually got put in my Poshmark account because that's what matters. Um, <laughs> that little price in my Poshmark closet is irrelevant to me because it has no bearing on what is getting put into my bank account because of fees and shipping discounts. So, if I say earnings, that's what got put in my bank account. Profit, what profit means is my earnings minus cost of goods. So that is the profit of the item. What the money I really made, not just my money back. That's the money I really made. So yeah, that's a little bit about how I set up my spreadsheet. Um, and then yeah, we can go ahead and jump into this video. It's gonna be a long one. Get an Arizona iced tea, get some hot fries. I don't know what your guys' choice of snacks are, but that's, that's definitely mine. I got a lot of shit to tell you guys. So, yeah, if you're interested, keep on watching. Also, a shameless plug, follow me on Instagram at Sean's underscore wardrobe. I post daily there. I definitely always post on the Instagram story. And I'll post, like, daily sales and, um, like, sneak peeks to hauls and things like that. So it's, like, extra bonus content. It's like if I had a Patreon, pretty much, but you're not paying me. So just follow my Instagram. It's free. And I try to be helpful. I answer DMs really quickly. And, yeah. Oh, also... <laughs> Since I haven't filmed my Poshmark Q&A video yet still. I still have the list. Drop questions down below if you have them. We're going to hop in this video. Because if not, it's going to be fucking long as hell. And I don't want to edit that. And I know y'all don't want to watch that. So in the month of May, from May 1st to 31st, I sold 52 items. Listen, busiest month I've ever had. 52 items still isn't a lot. That's like not even an average of two items a day. But it was a lot for me. I quit my job May 17th to be a full-time reseller, so half of this month I was still part-time. Just imagine me full-time next month. I should definitely um, hit my goals. So of those 52 items, I sold three handbags, three belts, six pairs of shoes, one pair of pants, six pairs of jeans, and two pairs of capris, um, two tank tops, six regular tops, uh, six pieces of athletic wear, so that's like hoodies, windbreakers, things like that. I sold 5, 10, 15, 16 dresses slash tunics. I sell a lot of dresses, that's like my niche. Uh, one cardigan, one coat, three blazers, and then one sweater, and one like intimate apparel. It was a Lulu's nightgown. 
So most sold brand, I sold two Lulu's items, uh, two Free People items, two Talbot's items, three pieces of LuLaRoe, two Apartment 9, and then two Anthropology items. All the other brands I only sold once. So this month I took $209.22, that's my initial investment, and I turned that into $967.05. So that minus the 209 and 22 is 757.84. That is the money I profited this month. Um, my average earnings, so the average number that was getting deposited in my bank account was 1860, and my average pro uh, profit was 1457. I think both of those numbers are ridiculously low, and I think that's going to be my focus for June is to be selling higher priced items. I paid $251.54 in fees, so that is what Poshmark charged me to sell on their platform, and I paid $31.60 in shipping discounts. So um, a lot of that is off for the Likers, 10% off, with $1.50 off the shipping, it definitely makes a difference, and I've made lots of sales this month using that. Um, the longest item I had was a 2X LuLaRoe Floral Classic Tee. I had that for uh, 13 weeks, <laughs> and I sold 13 items in, not I sold 13 items in one week, literally, but um, there were 13 items on this list that sold under a week, so that's pretty good. Uh, my highest earnings was a Hugo Boss dress. Uh, my earnings were $60, and I profited $52. And then my flip rate this month was $3.62, so that's pretty much means I'm taking my dollar and flipping it into $3.62, and that's just profit divided by price paid. <laughs> Or divided by cost of goods. I got an F in Accounting 101 in college. Um, and then I changed my minor from entrepreneurship to fashion media. Because I didn't want to retake Accounting 101. And I owed my high school, because I went to an early college. I owed my high school like $450 because I failed that class. I didn't even show up for the final exam. Because like my grade was so far done. And I was like, why would I show up for the final exam? And put all this, this studying and all this extra effort when... I'd rather just pay. I'd rather just pay the money and focus on my other classes. Just a little, just a little fun fact. I flunked Accounting 101. Still got that degree though. So we're going to get into this list here. It's lots of shit. And I'm not about to sit here and go into depth and detail about every single item with you because we'd be here all day. And I know that maybe you want to watch somebody else's video or enjoy your day or... I don't know. I don't know. But I know I want to do other things today. So what we're not going to do is give you every single detail. But if I remember certain things, I'll definitely bring them up. Um, I'm going to move over here so I can put the photo here of the item. And all of these items are sold. Also, these are the only videos for sure that I will tell you what I paid for that item. So I think that's why these videos get a lot of love is because I'm letting you know, sis... I paid four bucks for it, and I charged you 80. It is what it is. Uh, you have your item. <laughs> but I think that's why these videos get a lot of love. Um, sometimes I share prices every once in a while, but it's just I don't think it's the smartest business practice, and it's not what I'm going to try to enforce or bring upon myself. So, yeah. But these videos, you'll know, so we'll go through this list. Hopefully it's not too long. So the first item I sold was a Gap Genuine Leather Turquoise Belt. I paid $1.20 for that. It sold within a couple days. Um, my earnings were $12 and my profit was $10.80. If you can find a Genuine Leather Belt at your thrift store for under $2, I would definitely buy it. Um, take good measurements, take good photos, try to get name brand belts like Gap, Fossil, um, or even just really cute be belts, maybe some embroidery. They always sell. I've never sat on a belt for more than a month. Second item I sold was a Free People Beach. It was a mauve tunic. I paid $5 for this. It sat for eight weeks, which makes me not want to pick up Free People Beach anymore. I know lots of resellers don't. And my earnings were $12, so my profit was 7 The next item I sold was a Jay McLaughlin dress. It was green and white. Um, I paid $2.50 for this dress. It also sat for eight weeks. My earnings were $9.05, and my profit was $6.55. Fourth item I sold was a Free People keyhole dress. Um, it was really cute. It was this purple, like, mosaic detail. 
I paid ten dollars for that dress, which I'll never do again. I'm really not even paying over six dollars for free people right now. It sat for three weeks, and um, the earnings were twenty three twenty, and the profit was thirteen twenty. I did get a four star rating on this for shipping time, but I reached out to them and told them that, hey, I dropped this off at the post office three days ago and they still haven't scanned it. I'm sorry, but it's not in my possession anymore. And yeah, they must have never seen um, the comment, but you do what you can. The fifth item I sold, super cute soft surroundings cardigan. It was striped with a floral detail. Paid $6 for that. It sold in a week, which means like past seven, but under 14 days. And earnings were $16, profit was $10. Sold a bundle. It was the strangest bundle. It was a new attacks Forever 21 coat I purchased on Poshmark probably two or three years ago and never wore. And it was a Moulinette Swars anthropology dress that had armpit stains that matched the dress that I didn't realize until I photographed it. Um, but the coat, I already chalked that up as a loss, so it doesn't count my cost of goods. I paid $4.48 for the dress. Um, I sold the bundle for $24 were my earnings, so my profit was $19.52. Seventh item I sold was the Diane Von Furstenberg Zoe Wrap Dress. It was a zero. I paid $4.50 for it. It sat for nine weeks. I sold it. The earnings were $32, and my profit was $27.50. Eighth item I sold was something I found the cutest stock photo for. Um, it is a Zara mustard blouse. I paid six forty for it. It sat within the week. It sat within the week. It sold within the week. Um, my earnings were sixteen, so my profit was nine sixty. Ninth item I sold was an Adidas men's blue vest. Um, I brought this vest up in my should I have bought this video. I had forgot about a bunch of inventory upstairs and I sold quite a bit of it last month. Um, but I paid 75 cents for that vest. I think on my Instagram story I said I paid more but I got two numbers confused in my spreadsheet. I paid 75 cents for that. It sold literally within nine minutes. Yeah, I believe it was nine minutes. I got an offer on them. Um, I, my earnings were $9.05 and my profit was $8.30. Next item I sold was a White House Black Market white lapel blazer. I paid $0.80 cents for it. It sold within a couple days. Earnings were $18.50 and my profit was $17.70. I love White House Black Market. It's really easy to find stock photos for their brand. If you can get it for cheap, I would definitely pick it up. Next item I sold was a Lulu's nightgown. I paid $3 for it. Sold in two weeks. Earnings were $12. Profit was $9. Next item I sold was a bundle. It was an Apartment 9 tank top, a laundry by Shelly Siegel dress, and a Lulu's dress. I paid $9.28 for all three items. Um, the average of the three items was four weeks, and my earnings were $40, so my profit was $30.72. Next item I sold was an Anthropology Moulinette Soir, same brand as the other one, Dazzling Lights dress. I paid $4.48 uh, for that dress. I found it when I found the other one as well. Sold within two weeks. Earnings was $17.60. Profit was $13.12. Next item I sold was a Talbot's Mint Zip Up. Um, I had bought this when I had lost inventory as well from that same video. I paid 4 bucks for it. It sold in a couple days. Earnings were $10.50 and profit was $6.50. Fifteenth item I sold was a Perry Torrid denim stretchy jeggings. They were a size 20. Please do not be scared to pick up bigger sizes. I wear 18, 20, and I'm really not even a big girl. I mean, I'm a big girl, but, you know, I'm not somebody who should... Not that anybody should have to only buy their clothes online, but I'm just saying I'm not even the extreme. So, please don't see 20s and think, oh, nobody's going to buy those. Yeah, they will. The average uh, U.S. size woman is a 14 right now, sis, okay? They're not zero petites. They're not fours. They're not sixes. It's a 14. Bigger sizes do well. Buy your 20s. Buy your Torrid, your Lane Bryant. They're good brands. And big girls like me, hunt them out for sure. But especially Eloquii. I love Eloquii stuff. But I sold a pair of Torrid denim stretchy jeggings. They were size 20. I paid $3.20 for those. They sold within the week. Earnings were 16 Profit was $12.80. Um, sold a pair of Talbot's Lemon Cropped um, Signature Pants. They were super cute. Found a super cute photo for them. Uh, paid $3.20 for those. Um, they sold a little over seven days. My earnings were $20.90 and my profit was $17.70. Do not be scared to pick up Talbot's. If it is cute and trendy, 
pick it up. Lemons are, listen, super trendy right now. I don't know. All of a sudden, everything is lemon print. I'm here for it, but definitely pick up Tobits. If you can get it cheap, that and White House Black Market all day. And Chico's, you can find really easy stock photos. If you can find it cheap and cute, buy it, but there is that risk. And don't buy the big silver, clunky, silver and gray Chico's tags. They're old as hell. Um, next item I sold was a Worth New York New Tags dress. I paid $4.50 for this dress, and it sat for 10 weeks, sat for a very long time. Um, my earnings were $34.50, and I made a $30 profit on the dress. Next item I sold was a pair of Cole Haan black kitten heels. I paid $0.80 cents for them. Uh, they sold within the week, and my earnings were $10.50, and my profit was $9.70. Um, typically, I wouldn't let Cole Haan black kitten heels go for $10.50, but they did have a scuff, and the inside was chipping. I was happy they sold that quick in general. Next item I sold was a Lucky Brand Broken Arrow Linen Blend Tank. I paid $1.80 for the tank top. Sat for 10 weeks. My earnings were $5.55 and my profit was $3.75. I had bought a bunch of tank tops that day for $1.80 a piece. And it's definitely turned me off from buying tank tops. Nobody on Poshmark wants to pay $6.50 to get a tank top shipped. So unless you have a lot of other sizes... Um, or the same sizes to where they can bundle. I really don't recommend buying tank tops, like, at all. Next item I sold was a A&A &A denim blouse. I paid $150 for it. It sold in a couple of days. Um, my earnings were $12.80, and then my profit was $11.30. Uh, 21st item I sold was a Fossil Vintage bag. Paid $2.70 for it. Sat for seven weeks. It had a flaw that I didn't realize until I got home. The handle was starting to come apart. Uh, earnings were $7.55, still made a profit of $4.85 on it. I also want to mention how I did not take a loss on 80 items this week, so I think that is important to note. 22nd item I sold was that Hugo Boss dress. Um, I paid 8 bucks for it. It sold in a couple days. I listed it for, I believe, $100, and I took a $75 offer. Uh, earnings were $60, and my profit was $52, which was my highest earnings and profit for the month. Sold a pair of Stuart Weitzman loafers for, um, my earnings were $16.80, my profit was $11.80, and I paid 5 bucks for those. Sold a new with tags Nasty Gal matched up dress, paid $7.50 for it. It sold in 3 weeks, earnings were $20, and profit was $12.50. Sold a pair of Vionic Cancun platform sling back wedges. I also have these in my personal closet, they're super comfortable. Paid $6.40 for those, uh, they sold in a week. Uh, earnings was $30.40, and my profit was $24. Sold a Painted Threads. It's a Junior's Nordstrom brand, new with tag tunic tank. I paid $0.80 cents for it. I bought it because it was new with tags. Um, earnings were $8.05, and then the profit was $7.25. Sold an Apartment 9 Dome Tribal Satchel. Paid $2.70 for this at Goodwill. Sat for 9 weeks. Uh, earnings were $8.55. Profit was $5.85. Sold a Vineyard Vines custom SBCC belt. I was so mad when I found out it was custom. I thought the SBCC stood for like a baseball team or something. I think it stands for Santa Barbara Community College. <laughs> but I bought that. I only paid 80 cents for it. And it sold a little over a week. Uh, earnings were 11.05. I had it listed for 15. Uh, somebody offered me 14. And then my profit was 10.25 on a custom Vineyard Vines belt. Sold a pair of Chloe Wide Leg Boyfriend Jeans. I paid 4 bucks for those. They sold a little over a week. Earnings were $38.50 and my profit was $34.50. Sold a LuLaRoe Green Heathered Carly. I paid 4 bucks for it. Uh, my earnings were $10.50 and my profit was $6.50. I definitely could have made more, but it had a small hole in the back that I didn't realize. But I still made a profit. Sold a pair of Sanctuary Denim Joggers. Um, I bought them from Nordstrom Rack. They were new at Tags. Paid $4.47 for them. They sold in seven weeks. Um, my earnings were $48. A lady outright bought them for $60. And I was like, thank you. So my profit was $43.53. Another outright buy, um, a pair of BDG high-waisted skinny jeans. Paid $3.20 for them. They sold a little over a week. We were in Columbus when these sold. And um, I had them listed for $30. So my earnings were $24. My profit was $20.80. Sold a pair of Unisa blue lace-up sandals. I paid $2.50 for those. Um, they sat for five weeks. Earnings were $12, and my profit was 
sold a LuLaRoe Flora Classic T2X, paid $1.80 for it, sat for 10 weeks. Earnings were $5.55 and my profit was $3.75. I really don't pick up LuLaRoe anymore unless it's like new with tags or a plain color or just like super cute. It's definitely not a brand that you can buy like just anything of anymore. Something I should have never bought in the first place, but I'm happy I made a profit on it. Uh, Lauren Conrad watercolor dress. I think that was like, I was thirsty for inventory. And I know that I sat for a while before I ever listed it. Um, but I did pay $4.48 for that. Sat for 10 weeks. And then my earnings were $7.55, so I profited $3.07. Next item I sold is a New York & Company off-the-shoulder new with tags top. It was like that scuba material. Um, I paid $0.80 cents for it. It sat for four weeks. Earnings were $14.50 and my profit was $13.70. Sold a Flores & Flores Silk Blend Blazer. Beautiful blazer. I paid $9.60 for it. Um, I pretty Typically, I wouldn't pay that much for a blazer, but it was a silk blend and a really pretty print. And a bigger size. I believe it was a 12 um, but my earnings were $31.20 for that, and my profit was $21.60, so I was really happy with that. So the Kate Spade Vintage Black Backpack, I paid $7 for it at uh, the Goodwill. Sold in two weeks, earnings were $30.50, and my profit was $23.50. Then I sold a pair of Banana Republic Black Skinny Jeans, paid $0.80 cents for them. They sold in three weeks, earnings was $16, and my profit was $15.20. Next thing I sold is a bundle to a personal friend. She knows I resell. Thank you so much for purchasing from me. I'm happy everything fit. Um, but if she's watching this, she's going to learn how much I paid for everything. So it was a pair of Under Armour leggings, um, a H&M pair of cropped pants, a pair of J. Crew skinny jeans, and a suede floral embroidered belt. Um, I believe all of those I had listed would have been like, I think like 80 bucks. I know the belt I had at 15, I think the leggings I had at 15, uh, the J. Crew pants I probably had at 30, and then the H&M pants I probably had at 20. Um, but I paid 660 for all four of those items. And, uh, she paid me 30 bucks for them. I told, I told her, I texted her and said, hey, if you want all four, I can give them, give them to you for 30 bucks. Which I think is still extremely reasonable for Under Armour athletic pants and J. Crew skinny jeans alone. Plus the belt and the H&M crop. Like, I think that's pretty reasonable. That's cheaper than clothes men are, so. Because we sold J. Crew skinny jeans for 16, 18 bucks all day. But, um, I sold that to her for $30, so I profited $23.40. The next item I sold was an Athleta maxi dress. I paid $0.80 cents for it. It sold in two weeks. Earnings were $12.90 and profit was $12.10. Sold an H&M open front purple blazer. I paid a dollar for it. Um, it sold after five weeks. Earnings were $10.50. Profit was $9.50. And then I sold a Reebok vintage windbreaker that I paid $8 for. I only sat on it for two weeks. Um, I should have waited longer and stopped sending out super low offers because I forgot I had paid $8 for it. But I was being thirsty for a couple bucks. And my earnings were $10.50, so my profit was $2.50. Sold a pair of Nike Soul Cycle Capris, um, athletic capris. I paid four bucks for them. Uh, they sat for three weeks. Earnings were $16, and my profit was $12. Then I sold a pair of Paige Hoxton Ultra Skinny Jeans. A lot of people don't pick up Paige anymore. I definitely wouldn't pick up the old label, but the new label, for sure. A lot of it is still on the Macy's website. I believe these are on the Nordstrom website. I believe these were still at Nordstrom for, like, over a hundred bucks brand new. But I paid six forty for them. They sat for three weeks. Uh, my earnings were twenty six fifty and I profited twenty ten on them. I sold an Eloquie Peplum dress. It was a size twenty, so about a two X. Paid four forty eight for it. Sat for five weeks. Earnings were twelve ninety and profit was eight forty two. Sold a Style & Company chambray button-up, paid $2.50 for it, sat for five weeks, earnings were $7.55, and my profit was $5.06. Sold a LuLaRoe Flora Classic tee, uh, paid $1.80 for it, it sat for 12 weeks, earnings were $4.05, profit was $2.25. Sold an Athleta Radiance Yoga tee, I paid $3.20 for it, sat for four weeks, earnings were $14.40, and my profit was $11.20. I was so happy to sell these because I always say you pick up all sizes. There is somebody out there for it. Definitely, if you're trying to budget money, maybe don't buy the zero petites. Maybe don't buy the five X's. 
but if you have a little bit of money a little bit of leeway pick up the the bigger sizes the smaller sizes these were a pair of dv dulce vita um strappy sandal heel they were a size 12 i paid six bucks for them uh they sat for three weeks my earnings were 22.50 and i profited 16.50 um, then I sold a J. Jill red lightweight sweater. Yes. And I showed this in my Instagram story haul. I paid 50 cents for it. It sold in two days to an offer of $18. My earnings were $14.40 and my profit was $13.90. So I was extremely happy with that because I only spent like 14 bucks that day in general. And then the last item I sold, which I sold last night, uh, was a Madewell Delphine Wedge. They retail for $188 on the website. I paid $10 for them uh, from a Plato's Closet in Columbus. They had nicks on the outside and definitely were flawed. I listed for $65. They had over 15 likers in a day. And somebody counter-offered me at $40. So my earnings were $32, and I profited $22 on them. And I'm not even mad at that. But yes, that is everything I sold in the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed the fact that I sat here and read every single item to you. I hope it helps you buy the bigger sizes, buy the smaller sizes. If you got an extra dollar, pick up a Talbot sweater. If you got an extra two dollars, you know, pick up those brands that are kind of risky. Take the risk if you have the money. That's my whole thing. If you can budget 50 cents for a J. Jill sweater and sell it in two days and make over $10 in profit, why not? But I hope you guys like this video. Like I said, I sold 52 items. I turned $209 into 700 and no, I turned $209 into $967 and made a 757 profit. Um, I'm a full-time reseller now. It's stressful, but it's been going good. If you want to see any specific videos, let me know and definitely subscribe. Follow me at my reseller Instagram, Sean's underscore wardrobe. And yeah, uh, hope you guys like this video. I will see you guys Sunday for my live thrift haul at 6 p.m. EST. I live in Ohio, so if you're underneath Ohio, I'll see you at 6, okay? If you're in Washington, three hours before, I'll see you at 3. Um, I don't know any other area codes, but yeah, those aren't area codes or time zones. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.